Welcome in. Today I'm going to be sharing my cozy hobby basket with you. I got this idea from a streamer and YouTuber. Their at is at Cozy Games. And I love the idea of combining all your favorite cozy hobbies, your favorite cutesy little things in one basket. So it's out in the open. So if you're an ADHD girly like me, you don't forget about it. And it's easily accessible by your bed or your couch. So adult coloring books. There are coloring books for adults that have like cuss words in them and stuff. And those are fun too. Um, but these ones are like just cute little like botanist coloring pages, um, just kind of like botanical coloring books. And what I like about this one is it has one with like larger coloring spaces and ones with fine lines as well. So when I'm feeling like super scattered, um, I like to do the larger coloring spaces so I'm not having to worry about being in the lines. I can just get all my anxious energy out. And then when I'm feeling like I need in need of control, I like doing the ones with finer lines because I can really focus on staying in the lines and it solely focuses my brain on that one task. So adult coloring books are the way to go. I got this one from Target a couple of years ago, but I'm sure you can find them on Amazon as well. Second cozy hobby is reading. And I'm not even gonna get too far into it because I'll go on a tangent. Um, the first book I recommend is of course, the Accord of Thorns and Roses series, Akatar. You've probably seen it all over TikTok. But if you are, or if you were like a middle school girly who loved like Hunger Games, Divergent, anything like that, I recommend trying fantasy as an adult now. High fantasy books, maybe with a little bit of smut or a lot of smut um, to get you back into reading. And Akatar, I haven't read like a series in like 10 plus years and Akatar got me into reading. So I'm already on my second um, book collection series, whatever they're called. And this is the Carval series and I'm on the third book. And reading has just been so fun. Just finding a series that you can immerse yourself into while you're listening to an ambiance playlist on YouTube. That is the key. Ambiance um, playlist on YouTube, but with a weighted blanket, maybe some tea, your favorite drink, and just a book that you can just chill with, especially now that it's fall. Highly rec recommend getting into reading. And now I've even started keeping some book bookmarks that my friend gave me in my cozy hobby basket. So I can start a couple books at a time if my brain is just not clicking with one at the moment and I want to start another. Third cozy hobby is magazines. I am, I love online shopping, but mostly online browsing. I normally never end up buying it. So one fun thing about magazines is it keeps you off your phone. It gives your brain a break from staring at a screen, but you're still able to have that serotonin of like getting inspiration from the magazine, especially if you're looking at home decor ones or furniture ones or clothing ones. And it's also fun because you can see like what's about to be in store, what are the new trends. And it's just a, a fun way to get your brain distracted without being on your phone. Highly recommend. And then I also keep nail polish in my cozy hobby basket. I haven't been keeping up with my nails, obviously. <laughs> I've honestly been neglecting my cozy hobby basket. So this video is gonna help me get back into it. I've mainly just been reading, um, but I keep some just cheap ass nail polish in this. Um, basket because the act of just like slowing down, filing my nails, you know, doing cuticles, um, slowly painting your nails with like your favorite YouTuber or switch Twitch streamer on in the background is like therapy to me. It's so relaxing. And one perk of getting shitty nail polish, because nail polish is expensive these days. It's like $10 for a bottle and I don't know when that happened. Um, this was like $2 is it chips off fast. So you're constantly having to redo them which means you're constantly sitting down to spend some time with yourself and chill and relax your mind. Now, doing your nails is just another immersive thing to like direct your anxious brain to the, you know, focusing on your nails. So, and that's kind of like the goal of all my cozy hobbies. So I think also like finding what motivates you to do your cozy hobbies. So maybe it's to like try a new, like learning to crochet or like learn a new like, um, task or whatever, a new skill, or maybe it's just to calm your brain. And then we have collecting stickers on a Yeti cup. That's a very niche hobby. And I don't really keep this in my basket, but I wanted to share this. So one of my Twitch friends at Cute Kizzy, she recommended getting a Yeti cup to help me drink more water in a cute way, keeps it cold, all that jazz. I started wanting to cover it with stickers, which kind of sucks because the white is just so beautiful and pristine but it's been so fun when every time I go into a new gaming store 
when I'm looking at something online, looking for stickers that make me genuinely happy that I think are so cute and just covering this cup with them. So every time I see it and I drink water, I see my cute stickers and the act of like searching for the stickers, thinking of, you know, what other stickers I'd want or getting new stickers when I finish book series has been so fun. So I've got Hagrid and Harry on here. I'm such a fake Harry Potter fan. I can't even remember what his bird's name is right now. Anyway, we've got Dobby with his sock and then the principal from My Hero Academia. And these stickers just make me so happy. So highly recommend adding that to your sticker search to your cozy hobby um, list. And I don't know if this counts as cozy hobby, but I got my first plushie the other day and it has, I'm on the journey to heal my inner child. That's also the goal of my cozy hobbies. And this, I mean, single-handedly healed it in one $15 purchase. Um, my Twitch chat, also cute kizzy, named this one Betty, and it's actually reversible. And this one is Bob. I think this one's so much cuter. Um, but just having this like with me as like an emotional support item while I'm doing my cozy hobbies, while I'm reading, while I'm just walking around the house, sleeping, whatever, this has added just so much cuteness and joy. Um, so I recommend just like, even if it seems like almost childish, like, you know, a plushie, whatever, letting yourself buy it if it brings you joy. Going on the hunt for cute things to like collect on a shelf or keep on your desk. Anything that keeps you like almost having an ongoing list, like a search for something can be so fun, especially if it's cute little items. So highly recommend. I mean, if you want to get brought down the, the plushie rabbit hole, go for it. So that's what's in my cozy hobby basket what I keep with me while I'm doing cozy hobbies. And I just wanted to share it because watching the YouTuber who inspired me to do this at Cozy Games showed me new hobbies that I didn't think to do, like reading magazines, coloring books, things like that. And also kind of showing me that as an adult, it's okay to do these things, even though they seem kind of like childish. They're fun. They keep my brain focused on other things um, and they bring me joy. And that's all that matters. So I hope you find a basket and shove all your cozy shit into it and start doing them more often. If you have any that you suggest or you think I should try, feel free to put it in the comments. Or if you try any of these and enjoy it, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. Um, you can also like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna hang out live, I do stream on Twitch at Mrs. underscore A underscore Libs. And I stream there about four times a week. So I hope to see you in the next video and I can't wait to hear your opinions on everything.